Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good. I rewind this one back to the first week in September when I first tested the dive bomb silhouette decoys on a hot, windy afternoon. Let's just say that even with the afternoon heat and sun, the birds decoyed nicely despite me having to make big adjustments for wind to get it done. When adjustments need to be made, make them fast. Go, go, go. And that's another great day for the books. Yeah. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. We're going to rewind a little bit back to the very first week of September. I had the opportunity to go out and shoot a half limit of ducks and a half limit of geese and it was a swathed wheat field I had to get into and I didn't really want to take the trailer and, and the landowner said Claudio, he goes, ah, just drive through the corners and I, I don't like doing that so I just told him I'd park the swaths in the corners, I'd run a truck in, I could get to a pond. From that pond I could turn around, come back the same way and there'd be no damage to the crop whatsoever. So. The opportunity was for me to use the dive bomb decoys. Anytime I implement a new system, in this case decoys, I like to control as many of the variables as I can. In this case, in a swath field in the early season, I knew I had a situation where the hide was rock solid. I knew the birds had been coming there to feed. That was a solid controllable. All I had to do now was isolate the decoys and I had the opportunity to do that. Well, I can tell you this, I was very pleasantly surprised in how the birds reacted to the decoys. What I did have to contend with was a very radical wind change during the time that I was there. And of course, you know, when you're dealing with ducks and geese, they both react to the wind a little bit differently. The ducks can get in on a side shoot and get ahead of you real quick. Uh, in this case, the wind had cut a little bit more than it should have, and it was forcing the ducks to come over our shoulders. And rather than have that funky shooting opportunity, I thought, all right, once we had the geese done, we did a quick spin around and started shooting the birds straight on. And what a difference it made. I mean, the birds just did it perfectly. We were shooting them, you know, 10, 15, 12 yards off our toes. They had nothing but confidence going into those decoys. One other thing I'd like to mention real quick is making adjustments and making them quickly. When the birds aren't reacting to the wind and the decoys properly, you can sit there and pray for them to change, but that's not going to do it. You have to make those adjustments and you have to make them quickly during the flight. The change we made was a complete 180 degree flip. And all I did was very quickly had the hunter spin the blinds around. We grabbed as many decoys as we quickly could, put them out in front of us, grabbed the robo ducks, planted them right with the mallard decoys out in front of us. Once we made the switch, the ducks were coming in straight on where we're facing them now. Although their approach path didn't change, our shooting direction changed. And it made for just a much more pleasant hunt. I could actually get those ducks to stall right on the spinning wing decoys, right out in front of us, 12 to 15 yards. And they had no trouble diving into the dive bombs. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun. I remember it being very hot and very windy, but we got it done. We got a GoPro, got a GoPro started. What? Wow, we're, we're gonna. My camera guy's not here, but we're Jim, gonna. Jim told me to get in the front. There you go. Ah, uh, gentleman, Jim. There you go. There you go. My buddy Matt Ott. There you go, GJ. Like, yeah. Ott, Ott told me to get in the back. Like in the back, back. In the back. In the kennel. There we got birds milling. Oh, I think he might have kicked. These those guys are there. kicking birds out. Okay. Yeah. They're just going back to roost. Yeah. Now those birds day roosting here was out where they're staying. A little bit of both. So the, the, the ducks will were puddling and then feeding on the side hill because it's all swath. The geese were actually roosting there, not feeding there, and going to feed in a pea field with a bunch of cattle. I'm surprised with all the shit you've tried you haven't done cow decoys yet. 
Well, <laughs> that's about the only thing we haven't big, tried. Those big round uh, yeah. hay bale decoys. Yeah, and the hay bales. I worked on those. Apparently they work, but. Yeah, no thanks. If, if we can get done. Sorry, guys. So there's some on that hill, some on the flat just on the other side, but the majority were right on the base of this hill, in this flat, and right up to that knob. Uh, I've got four hunters who shot, uh, they went 17 ducks, 17 geese this morning. And I've got some Canadas, uh, nice Canada, about 150, 200 Canadas in here with uh, not a lot of ducks, 100, 150 ducks or so, but I should be able to get it done. We're hunting in a swath uh, wheat field. Decided to go with the Cabela's Renegade series uh, layout blinds. And then we went with the dive bomb Canada goose silhouettes with the fully flocked heads. And then we went with the pintail and mallard hens only in the dive bomb silhouettes as well. Pulled the drakes out just because we're in a situation where there, there's very little plumage on them right now. And it's, it's best just to keep the colors as drab as possible. Two robos in the middle of the spread and uh, off we go. John, we're just, we're set up waiting for the birds to come. It's hot, nice wind, but uh, it's hot. So we'll see what happens here in a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Come on in, Brett. Just come on in. His door's open. Hang on. I'll run and get them, or sure. do you want to? I can get them. Oh, okay, go ahead. You know what's cool is how they hang there. Like they're, oh, yeah. they're not worried about a thing right Two now. out there. Long. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice to have a young guy. Yeah. That was so cool how those guys just hung up there. Yeah, wasn't that beautiful? That one fell like right here, right on my toes. Oh, I've been hit a few times. It's not cool. Oh, like, have you? Oh, I got one right. We were hunting up by the river, right on a river flat, and I was actually hunting with four chiropractors and a and a Pfizer drug rep, and it hit me right, like right on the top of the head. I get, I didn't see it. A big Canada like this, and uh, knock you out. Not quite, but all all they said was watch out, and I, I went like this. They didn't see it, and it felt like this button got pushed through to my ass. You know the button <laughs> on your hat. Oh God! And then they saw it happen, so the Kairos immediately they said just don't move, don't. So they checked me out, and I was fine. Okay, cover up, guys. Make sure a little bit of chaff in front of you. We'll see what they do. If the three do it, uh, if the three will land, I'll let them land. But if they if the three go, we gotta kill them. Okay. Roll them, boys, roll them, roll them. Okay, I know what we gotta do. Is there... Watch that one, watch that one, watch that one. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's going to crack. Gonna there die. he goes. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. Boom. I can see him laying there. He's dead. Okay. He's got one over the knob. You want me to go run grab that one? Ah, uh, hang on. We got birds up. Let me, let me you just, you just stay because I'd rather you be in the decoy than not. And then, uh, I'll grab that one. Now, so what's happening is they're come, the way the wind is hasn't switched yet. We should actually take that whole tail end of those decoys because they're targeting there. We may have to move them over, like over to there, and catch them coming over. Oh, so we got seven in hand. Catch yeah. this. Just slide up okay. right there. I could call it a little sooner. I was just. I thought that was perfect. I thought you were doing good. Okay. Wow, I thought that was perfect. Oh boy. No specs. Get them in here. Drill 
drill them, guys. Drill them. They're right there. Three, four. Watch it, watch it. Oh, could you imagine if the wind would have done exactly like it's supposed to stay west? They'd have been right there on those robos. Because mm -hmm. you know when they're hooking like this, they would have been hooking right, right like they'd been right there. Oh God, yeah, get there. Someone's gonna kill this duck. Let's see what it does. Where is it? Coming around, coming in hot. <laughs> Someone drill it, drill it, drill it. That's perfect. Oh. He's coming in. Where? To the left. Oh. Left. To the left. I didn't hear you. Sorry. We go on this hunt. Guy brings his two sons, and these guys would not miss. Like, they don't miss. And he would keep right in his right hand, he'd put two extra shells, like, in between his fingers, and he'd get a fourth shot, sometimes a fifth shot off. And, I, and I, I sat up and I was hunting with him in the lineup. Jay was guiding. And I go, like, are you guys Navy SEALs or something? <laughs> Guess what? They were Navy SEALs. Oh, shit. Yeah, they gave me the, the Navy SEAL. The coin? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I got to learn not to swear in front of the camera. Get, just be ready. There's, there's three and then there's more. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> Kill those two guys. Try them, try them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> drill them, boys. Drill them, drill them, drill them. What we might have to do is if the ducks keep doing that, I'll move decoys. And, uh, okay. But if we have to make a change, I'll get you guys to flip the blinds, like the other way, and then I'll move decoys. But if, if the wind stays like this, if, if you guys just spin the blinds 180 degrees, and then we'll shoot the other way, and we'll just move some decoys, So because if they're coming in this way, at least you shoot them in the face, right? And I'll put the robo duck in front of us, and we'll slam them. Here we go, here we go, here's two coming in, guys. Here we go, they're hooking. Here, come on. Here they come, guys, they're gonna finish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Kill these four guys, plus the ones up the right, on the right, on the right. Straight up. They did it. Oh, look at this duck. Yeah, see, if we're turning around, like we turn around, I'll stab a robo duck at our toe. Oh, what? let's watch with these four. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, wait, wait, wait. Now, 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 now. I was watching, I was watching the flight behind. Okay, guys, let's, uh, you know the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> doing the same thing and okay you guys want to just let just spin the blinds I'll move the robos one quick adjustment and well this won't take us long otherwise we'll be sitting here okay got it okay and then let's grab as many of these decoys as we can and just put them right around us. Okay. And then we'll put a pod on the left, pod on the right, stab robo ducks in the middle, and it'll be the right coat. This isn't high volume, so we got to get the Grab this far one. Yeah. Just grab, yeah. Don't worry. Just grab as many as you can. Okay, we'll put the, put the duck decoys right around the robos we won't need to be nearly as well covered either for the dock
definitely different breed than the geese. Now, now see what's happening? See the difference? Yeah. You know, he, he, there you go, kill it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't sure. We're gonna drill this one. Drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. Oh my <laughs> God. Ay, ay, ay. He wanted in, we see when he started slipping like that, trying to lose air to get in faster. Ah, that's beauty. Yeah, let's let us let him work, let him work, let him work. Oh yeah. Next pass, next pass. <laughs> They're hooking out in front. Downwind. Okay, we should get seven or eight in the blocks right now. Get ready, guys. Let this single go just a sec. Drill them, guys. Doesn't get much better now. Oh my gosh. Nice shot. Nice shot. Well, that was a nice whacking of ducks. I forgot to put a shell in my chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to shoot over you. Are you okay? No, you're good. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I saw at least five come out of this. See how close that one landed? That pintail drake, that immature yeah. drake. He's on that swath. Boom. Above us. Yeah, fresh flighted ducks. There we go. Rip them, rip them, rip them. This ain't gonna take too long. <laughs> He's looking to puddle. All right, now he's changed his mind. Get him, Jim. Get ready, boys. Let Jim shoot him. Sure. Anytime you're ready, Jim. Go ahead. Anytime you're ready, Jim. Go ahead. Buried him in the swath. And Pat keeps telling us you can't shoot. Oh, man, they're coming in hot. Might have to let this first one come in a bit more. Ready, ready, ready. Go, guys. Go, go, go. Out there. <laughs> well, we just couldn't time that one much better. I couldn't wait any longer for that close one. You got the close one, didn't you? you got him. Yeah. Oh, he's bouncing. I better just grab him before he buries himself in the swath. Coming right in, right in, right Yeah, in. let's just block him. Go shoot, go shoot. Hit him. <laughs> yeah, that was all on film. Nice work, boys. Nice work. That had to feel good. Just stone that way. That's ridiculous. Standing up. Ah, it's hard to shoot standing up. No, I mean just that he comes in like that. <laughs> Alright boys, you get him a stall right in the robos. Kill kill those four, we'll go for cocktails. Let's get him in here. Go! 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 Everybody. <laughs> Hate to say it's a wrap, but I think it's a wrap. <laughs> it does. Hell of a way to end it. That's a wrap, everybody. That's good shoot. Cool. I'm, shooting, right. I'm shooting nice even there. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, we have to make an adjustment, but you know what? You, you got to do it right. Like, if you don't make the adjustment, you sit and then they're coming over your head. It's just not as pretty as that. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Yeah, thank you. That was yeah. awesome. Well, grab grab as many of these empties as we can, guys. And all right, I'm gonna start stacking them. Okay, I'll go get the truck. All right, I'm gonna make this real quick. Uh, it was a real hot day today, and I'm not making excuses because I don't have any excuses to make. But um, today's the first time I've ever hunted with the dive bomb decoys, and you know we've been hunting full bodies and layouts and and. Uh, you know, Willow blinds and Cabela's Renegade blinds and all sorts of different systems. You know, this early season, we had an opportunity today where I need to go shoot 15 ducks and 15 geese. Jay ended up taking the four guys this morning. He shot uh, 17 ducks and 17 geese. So I was kind of on the cleanup protocol and uh, decided, hey, we had, you know, we had 
uh, wheat swaths, um, you know, bunch of Canada's, handful of ducks feeding in here. So I decided to go with all of the dive bomb silhouettes, flocked head on the Canada's, and we had some uh, hand mallards and hand pintails. And I'll tell you what, they did it. I mean, the last four ducks we shot were literally inside of 12 yards. We shot some Canada's, great big ones. Uh, we shot, uh, I think, nine Canada's and six specs, I believe. And it was good, or whatever the number was, but um, just an absolute fantastic way to end the day for these guys. We're gonna pack up real quick. The other reason I wanted to go with the silhouettes today, besides testing them, and now I know they work great, was was I. It's a swath field, so rather than coming in a truck in a trailer, and uh, you know, I talked to the landowner, I told him we part swaths and stuff so we can get in, um, but rather than have to do this funky three point or ten point turn with a trailer, I could just throw some blinds in the back of the truck with you know, seven or eight dozen silhouettes and got it done, right? Couple Roboducks. So it was really nice not to have to roll the trailer. Anyways, great hunt. Dive bombs, Canada's and Mallards. It was great. Okay, I'm going to get in there. We'll do a little talk. Okay. All right. Aren't All right. you going to get in the middle? No, that's fine. I'm good. I'm fine here. I'm pretty sure I'm in there. scoot over. Oh, that's all right. All right, so first time we ever used the dive bombs and, uh, you know, these guys have hunted with us Lot, lots of times. I don't know. What do you think? They did it? Did well, it well they, enough? They definitely did it. Yeah, they did it. You know, second, third day of the season. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it, I wouldn't call it a true, true test, but I can tell you this, I've hunted with a lot of decoys that didn't work in the first week too, you know, and, and these work great tonight. I mean, the specs landed in there. Those Canada's did it, those ducks. So what we had to do tonight was the wind was supposed to switch about 90 degrees. It didn't. So the, the geese did it right. They kind of side shot, but the ducks were coming on in behind us. So we spun the blinds around, moved the robo ducks in front of us. I mean, I don't know. We shot at three or four flights. We needed 15. We wrapped it up pretty quick. It was good. Real good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good. Have Cocktail hour. Thank you. Great time. Awesome. Right Thanks again, Claudio. My pleasure. We're going to check a duck hunt on the way back. It's out of the way two miles. Is three or four thousand dollars in a puddle. I'd like to show you that, and I, I need to check on it too. So cool. Cool. Sounds great. Right on. Let's go. Great.